Hi, I'm John Cash, and welcome to Revelations Church's Daily Devotion. I want you to see something amazing in Scripture. Revelation 22, we're going to look at verses 12 through 15. These are the last words of Jesus in the Bible, and he tells us some very, very important things that we all need to know. He says, first of all, behold, I am coming soon. My reward is with me, and I will give to everyone according to what he has done. Number one, he says, I'm coming soon. It means I'm coming quickly, in a twinkling of an eye. Nobody will know it. Nobody knows the time. We may know the season, but not the exact time. So the first thing he says is, hey, live your life like I could come just like that. Then he says, my reward is with me. What reward? The reward of heaven. The rewards that we will receive in heaven. And notice who will receive those rewards. He says, and I will give to everyone according to what he has done. Notice there's no mention of faith here. Why? We're saved by faith, right? Of course. You can't work your way to heaven. So why does he not mention faith? He says, I will give to everyone according to what he has done. Your deeds, how you act, is proof of your faith, number one. Pretty simple. But people argue about it all the time. Secondly, your rewards in heaven will come from what you do on the earth. Are you being a witness to others? Are you spreading the gospel? Are you helping the poor and needy? Are you showing love to people? Are you giving? These are the things that God's going to look at to determine your reward in heaven. Then he says in verse 13, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Folks, right there, he's giving you his qualifications for making these comments. He's the creator, the redeemer of mankind, the judge of all. He was around at the beginning and the end. In other words, he's above time. He created time itself. So listen to him. I'm amazed when I meet people who make their own rules up about heaven and hell or the lack thereof, how they should act on earth. In America, there's too many people doing what is right in their own eyes. They have their morality, but it's not based on what God says. Their creator, they just make it up. God is saying here, Jesus is saying here in verse 13, look, I'm everything. Listen to me. His credentials are flawless. Verse 14, he then says this, Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may go through the gates into the city. You know what that says? First of all, to go to heaven, the city is heaven. You must have your robes washed. Okay, You need to be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? What it means is you need to put your faith and trust in Jesus. And then when you do, he will wash away all your sins. And when your sins are washed away, he gives you a clean robe. That clean robe is a sign that you are righteous in his eyes. Okay? So blessed are those who wash their robes, who get rid of their sins through the blood of Jesus, who put their faith and trust in him, that they may go and have the right to the tree of life that's in heaven. You can't go to heaven without having your sins washed away. And the tree of life, remember, the tree of life was in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve, God put it there so they could live forever. What happened? <laughs> they sinned. God said, well, you're gone. He banned them from the Garden of Eden, put powerful angels to prevent them from going back. They took the, uh, the tree of life, apparently, moved it to heaven in this new city coming up. That's where we're going to live. That tree of life is going to give us eternal life. That's the mechanism God's going to use for us to live forever. Who's not going to be in heaven? Verse 15. Outside are the dogs, those who practice magic arts, the sexually immoral, murderers, the adulterers, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. Instead of going through each one of those sinful desires and sinful lifestyles, he says outside are those who practice these things. They practice them. Their lifestyle is this. Do we all make mistakes, even saved Christians? Of course. But those who practice these things, those who act evil most of the time, they can do good stuff now and then, but those who practice these things will be outside those 
gates of heaven. Are they going to be just sitting outside? No, they're going to be in a place called hell. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And Jesus makes it clear that he's uniquely qualified to tell us this and that we should believe him because he, by his own power, raised himself from the dead. Thank you for listening. We'd love to see you at Revelations Church, Deep Creek High School, Sunday mornings at 1030. God bless.